What's going on guys? So you guys just watched um, us catch those two big sea bass. Well, I guess just the one. I missed the first one. So what led up to that is Jimmy and I were out there for his birthday weekend. We were camping, um, but we did want to fish around um, the island for a bit before setting up camp. And we ended up with a whole tank full of squid. We went to the bait barge expecting to get sardine. They had squid, so we obviously took that. And we shot to the island and we fished around the whole, you know, front side, back side, and we were catching all sorts of stuff, calico bass, sheephead, triggerfish, sargo, all the right stuff, but the, the conditions just didn't line up for what I wanted to see for game fish. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a white sea bass fisherman. I have an idea of what to look for, but at the same time, it's, it's still just a shot in the dark. So anyways, we kept spot hopping all the way around and we pulled up on one spot and we were picking away at the calico bass, just kind of like, throwing the squid out on a lead head and just kind of letting it fall through the water column. And I hooked one and it felt right. But at the same spot, we do catch a lot of yellowtail there. So again, we catch a lot more yellowtail than sea bass, at least I do personally. So I was fighting this fish, it wrapped up in the kelp, busted it loose of the kelp and I felt it kind of like rubbing on someone else's line. And it ended up getting stuck on the line, got it up to deep color and I could see it down below the boat. Uh, and I was only fishing, I think, 25 or 30 pound fluoro. And I could see this fish laid out. It was still a little too deep to tell if it was a sea bass or a yellowtail, um, but I could see it was a good fish. So I got to the point where I was contemplating putting on my spear fishing stuff from my wetsuit, jumping in and going and shooting it, but I didn't know the legality of doing that. So I just decided to pull and hopefully their line gave before mine. That's not what happened. My line snapped and I watched this fish swim off. So. After you lose a big fish, after fishing hard all day, it's tough. It really is. So I <laughs> pulled myself together. Jimmy and I kept fishing, uh, made a couple more casts, and I hooked something that felt proper again, and this one killed it pretty quick. Got it to the boat, and it was a sea bass. Gaffed it, and it was, it was a good sea bass, not a huge one. It was probably just over 30 pounds, probably. But then I knew that the one I had lost was a big one. So anyways, we landed at what we came out there for, a game fish, and... We kept flipping out, kept flipping out, and then I flipped out, set my rod in the rod holder, like you guys just saw, and I was talking to Jimmy, and I look over, and I could see the line kind of like peeling off, set the hook, wind into it, and uh, we were catching a lot of calico in between these sea bass, by the way, so you, you didn't know what you were going to hook into, and this one, I wound into it, and I set the hook, and I was I knew what it was. I was like, this is a good one. Called Jimmy over, handed the rod off to him, because obviously, birthday boy needs to catch a fish and uh, reeled up all the other rods, got us off spot lock on the trolling motor, and we kind of chased this one down because the spot, that whole like stretch of, of beach has a lot of like random structure, kelp. I don't know, I just like to stay up and down on the fish, especially fishing lighter line. Anyways, we kind of chased it down, got up on top of it again. Jimmy did a great job keeping tension on it, landed that fish, got a gaff in it, and it was awesome. Honestly, getting our limit, those two fish in no joke probably 20 minutes was epic so got those fish in got them iced shot around set up camp uh we picked up jimmy's wife at two harbors brought her down to the campsite kind of hung out there and that was it but yeah so now what we're going to do is we're going to cook that fish i didn't get the cleaning on film so i apologize for that but we do have uh, a good group of guys here and we're going to cook up some of that fish um, what i'm going to do is do some rice baby broccoli and do like kind of like an asian style marinade i'll show you guys once i get back into the kitchen but yeah hope you guys are enjoying this and looking forward to showing you guys my white sea bass recipe Oh. Yeah, Jimmy here. Yeah, this is the right kind. Yeah. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> He's in the right now, though. So this is a this one feels bigger. Here. So don't don't put your thumb. Do not put your thumb on the drag. Got it. Let, let him run. Keep the rod tip up. We'll chase him down. Is he still on there? Remember, short pumps lift up. Don't don't wind straight. Keep a bend in the rod tip. Sorry. 
Let him run. There you go. It's gonna be ready because as soon as he gets close to the boat, he's gonna take off again. So it doesn't feel like you're fighting him right now because we're going towards him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is what the marlin felt like. Really? So lame. <laughs> he'll 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 take a dig in a second here. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta get some of that line back. I, I was fishing kind of light drag. But yeah, I think we're off the rock, so that's good. Hopefully there's no fishing line over here. Let's go, bud. Yep, there. Now he's like, hey, what's happening? Oh, I'm gonna take the sweater off, dude. I'm sweating my fucking balls off. No time. I don't know. <laughs> That reel's like butter, dude. It's real smooth. <laughs> it's almost like too smooth. You're like, I don't even feel like I'm gaining line. Yeah, we're in like 60 feet over sand right now. So if he runs, just let him run. It's 30 pound fluoro to a big hook. So as long as you keep it pinned, you're good. Oh, I forgot about him. You might, yeah, you might have to start working back this way. Should I go the other way, actually? Mm. I'll turn the boat. I'll turn the boat. Just keep it away from the... You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Dude, I can't believe it's biting like this right now, dude. This For is insane. white sea bass? This is insane. <laughs> I'm gonna spot lock here. Oh, oh, I got color. Let me know if you need to slide back. Try not to, dude. It's a good one. Keep a bend. Keep the rod tip bent. Wind, wind, wind. Wind, wind, wind. Yours is way bigger than mine. <laughs> Free spool. Yee -hee -hee. Uh, holy. Just a little one. <laughs> holy. Dude. <laughs> Here, smile for the picture, dude. Dude, <laughs> who's this bigger? Thanks, bro. Just <laughs> let me pull that one up. That was sick, dude. Look at that, dude. That's a... all right. Should we go set camp up? <laughs> I think that's a 45 50 pounder. Holy <laughs> oh man, <laughs> you love to see it. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Insane. <laughs> Look at how much bigger this one is. <laughs> Holy sh**. <laughs> well, f I, if I knew this was gonna happen, I would've let mine go. <laughs> oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, bud. It's real All right, so we're in the kitchen here. We got the marinade going. This is what I've used. We got black pepper, garlic salt, sesame oil, some ponzu with lime, 
We got the soy sauce and sweet chili just kind of thicken it up a little bit. Yeah. But that's been marinating for about 25, 30 minutes now. We got three minutes until the rice is done. <laughs> All right, we got Donnie, we got Brian, we got Dylan, we got Nick, and we got Nick. Yeah, the Nicks. We got the Nicks. <laughs> but yeah, so once uh, the rice is done, I will throw this stuff in some tin foil, and then we're gonna throw it on the Camp Chef outside, and we're gonna grill that up for probably eight minutes, 10 minutes maybe, and then we're gonna pull it off, throw it on a hot pan, and sear it. So. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so like I was telling you guys, that sea bass was massive. So I'm also not a sea bass fisherman. These are all the sea bass I've caught right here. And these are the, how do you pronounce that, Nick? Uh, oh. Autoliths. Autoliths. Let's <laughs> it right here. Yeah, that's the big one. So you can see the size difference there. This was that big one that we're gonna eat tonight. That one was 55 pounds on the scale. And these are, right behind their eyeballs kind of just in their head and it's hard to find information on it but a lot of scientists think that it's for there. like their balance uh ballast buoyancy their ballast it's, it's called ballast, ballast in the water i've also heard it's helped to help them navigate i don't know about that uh, show me the that north one. star the <laughs> yeah don't Polar. say yeah. polaris yeah find your way home yeah they can see the north star with those apparently but anyways yeah so every sea bass i've kept i cut these out Put them in this abalone shell I found diving. It's kind of like a little trophy, but yeah. Anyways, that's the big one. There's a couple other big ones, but yeah. But the, there's two, obviously, a left and a right. It's kind of like teeth. Special effects. Dude, we got a smoke. <laughs> we got a smoke machine yeah, in here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that's the one we're so eating. Um, Hollywood. <clears throat> pretty cool stuff. They're really interesting fish. I need to get better at catching them. It goes right there. None of these guys are great sea bass fishermen either. Nope. I'm pretty good. I've got a couple. Yeah, it's so this cool. guy, uh, hold on. Tell your story. You, my first let let him tell side. his yeah. story. So, all right, let me let me preface this. We were out. What are we talking about? <laughs> we were out halibut diving one night, super shallow. Oh, yeah. Super shallow, like sub. Two and a half feet. <laughs> sub five feet, looking for halibut. And this guy. Pops up and starts screaming. I'll let you. I'll let you tell that little. Uh, like research. I was, <clears throat> I saw this little halibut. I'm like kind of chasing, kind of just like looking at it. I wasn't gonna shoot or anything. I'm just kind of like admiring it. And then I look up, and I look behind me, and this thing is just like <laughs> watching me, like stalking me. So I'm like, all right. Wait, do that again. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty realistic. That's what those do. <laughs> That's the, that's the auto lift. I had it. I had it. That's all. You got one of those. That's how they ballast. <laughs> so I had a what I have. I had the ninety rife. Yes. With a single band, and flopper shaft. I'm on a flopper on it, and so I slowly put it, you know, into fire, take the safety off, and I aim at it. It starts swimming away. I start kicking at it, shot it, and just held on to the gun. <laughs> Thing starts dragging me all over. Long story short, I got it. Started crying, not gonna lie, my first sea bass I ever shot. Swam up to Adam, I'm like screaming, hooting, hollering, and Adam doesn't believe it, I have him behind my back, and <laughs> show him, and to this day, he's still pissed. I am, I'm totally jealous. So, if you guys don't spearfish, a 90 centimeter gun with a flopper shaft and a single band is what you can barely shoot halibut with when they're right below you. It's not a powerful, powerful gun, and also with a flopper shaft, it has to go through the fish or yeah, at least like halfway into it. Somehow, it the flopper shot, yeah, it has to deploy. And if that fish, he didn't have a reel, that thing just was 10 feet of line and that thing was probably ripping him around. So for him to shoot that fish and land, it was pretty epic. I'll put a picture of that fish right now. But I did have two halibut though. So I, I didn't I didn't get skunked. I was swimming back with two halibut thinking I was gonna show him up. That's not what happened. But anyways. Good times. Yes. <laughs> Good times, look at this guy. All right, so we got we got your ginger, baby broccoli, and garlic. So we're gonna throw that these two in the tin foil with the sea bass. I'm gonna cook that on the side, but yeah. So we're ready to throw that in there and get it cooking. We got the we got the onions, we got the uh, ginger and the garlic on there. We're gonna wrap this up, throw it on the grill, which is probably on fire. Three seventy five. Perfect. All right, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna check these real quick. They've been on for probably about 12 minutes. I flipped them twice. 
Oh. Yeah, that smells fantastic. We got the onions on top, the garlic. Look at that, look at that big flake. That's definitely cooked all the way through. I think they are done. A little quick taste, taste test. Prime. Dude, that's so good. All right. Let's get these off. That is so good. I hear a lot of chewing in the background. That's good. Not spitting out. They say that's actually oh, a good true. sign. When you cook for people and it's actually like silent, yeah. it's actually a good sign. People are enjoying the food. Are waiting, are, no. waiting, are waiting to yell at you. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hair in mine. <laughs> nice little blonde Adam hair. <laughs> <laughs> Juicy. Juice. It's oh. a soft J, dude. It's juicy. <laughs> A UC? Yeah, it's very UC. I gotta get those onions on there for you. It's pretty descriptive. How was your fish? UC. Very. The J is so silent. <laughs> that ginger's a good touch, Adam. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that rice alone looks very appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> Just rice with the onion and the yep. ginger, yeah. Well, that's yours. Oh. Thank you, sir. So dig in. I don't get chives or uh, garlic. Uh, or... I ran out. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> weird. There you go. Where's your plate at? Is that yours? Yeah, it's already there. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Chef Adam. Boom. Say... All right, back. so we just polished that off pretty quick. Let's see. What do you think, Nick? It was delicious. Delicious. Absolutely amazing. So 10 it... out of 10. 100%. Line. He's That's lying. pretty strong. Anyways, what would you compare that to? Honestly, though, white sea we don't get to eat white sea bass very often, so what would you compare it to? It's like a, a very firm halibut. That's exactly it's yeah. exactly what it is. 100%. Dylan agrees. Yeah, that sounds that's like perfect. And it's, this one was different too because it's off a big fish and a big thick fillet, um, and it was delicious. The middle was tender and it was mild, and a, a firm halibut is a good way of putting it. Yeah, that was actually. Pretty solid. What do you think, Brian? I thought it was great. Yeah, I Hi. think uh, this is the first time that I've actually eaten white sea bass, so it kind of reminded me a little bit of chicken. But yeah, I just saw one in the water last week, and it was awesome. Dude, um, tell us about that. that. That's pretty sick. You don't get to see them out there very often. No, so were you free diving or scuba? Free diving. Nice. Yeah, I t no, my buddy actually pulled me out of the water to tell me that, that this is like a rare occurrence. That thing probably weighed about <laughs> like 15 pounds. Really way yeah, big. Yeah. That, I, I thought it was exciting. It caught my eye. There's something definitely totally. you don't see every day. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely called the, the, the ghost for a reason. That's pretty badass, dude. You I'm don't get stoked. to see them free diving. Oh, but yeah. Anyway. Especially swimming through the cult. So he saw it and he's like, dude, like yelling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see, see his eyes. And he, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah, awesome. Yeah. I, honestly, I can relate Good to memories. that. When you, when you see those things when you're diving, especially, I don't know if it, like, they, they know when you don't have a gun. And they'll come up and check you out. And I don't know, if you look at them, then they kind of get defensive and swim away. But anyways, that's super cool. You got to experience that. Not many people have. So badass. Hopefully next time you have a gun, you can shoot it. Yeah, hey, it was 20 feet away. So. <laughs> couple of kicks, couple Strike of kicks. <laughs> Other Nick over here, still working on it. What do you think? I'm sad to like finish this little Just bit. savoring every little bit. That's good, yeah. I mean, I don't, I'm not experienced like these guys. I'm like, oh, this is this fish and that's that fish. I don't know. <laughs> no, since I started hanging out with you, that was like the first time we were like, yeah, this is halibut and this is this and that. I was like, oh, yeah, that's good. So this obviously is the first time I've ever had this. Yeah. So I'm stoked. It's good. I enjoyed it. Um, You'll eat it again, is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's all that yeah. 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 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Chef Adam is the best. I'm a chef now, apparently. <laughs> Donnie? Uh, it was amazing. Oh, yeah. Right ready. there. Right there. Oh. Masters. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> 2022 coming up, folks. <laughs> no, it, 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 was, it was very good. I've only had white sea bass as kind of like in a beer batter tempura like fish tacos i've never had it prepared like that and it was amazing and even like dylan saying for a, a fillet that size it, it was really good very impressed awesome where'd you where'd you have it with you battered 
We I, oh, that's right. I did. I, I totally think we had Jimmy over. Nick, came, you came over, right? I think so. Uh, I think. Was that did. the one you shot? I want to say. We were, we were, we were, I think we the timeline's tacos. about right. Yeah, we were making tacos that day. That might have been the you one you there. shot. So. Donnie, was I there? <laughs> you? No, you weren't there. You were not present. Absolutely. Nope. But yeah, excellent job. Follow Fluent Fishing right now. Like this video. And subscribe. Comment. And subscribe. Don't forget. All right, they got my back on that one. But thank you guys so much for watching this one. I, I'm excited to put out more content, more videos, more catch and cooks. Um, I do do a lot of largemouth bass fishing, freshwater fishing stuff. So if you guys aren't into that, that's cool. Go ahead and skip that video. But if you are, stay tuned because, yeah, it's that time of year where I'm going to switch to some largemouth bass, striper fishing, that type of stuff. If we catch anything cool, we will do a catch and cook on that. But um, also this time of year, it's lobster season um halibut season so hopefully we get some cool stuff for, coming for you guys and i appreciate you watching we'll see you on the next one